Hello, this is John from CaveOfProgramming.com and in the last tutorial I actually said that we would look at um, generics in Java but uh, after I thought about it I realised that there are a few things that we should cover first before getting on to generics so I'm going to try to get some tutorials out pretty quickly on um, some other subjects and in this tutorial we're going to look at the um, access level modifiers or access specifiers uh, public, private and protected. So um, let's look at the simplest one first. Let's look at uh, public. I'm going to create a new class here. So I'm going to right click project, go to new class and uh, let's call this um, machine. Now just for a change let's call it plant. So I'll call it plant and um, I'm going to give plant a um, instance member variable here so I'm going to call this uh, let's say string name and um, yeah let's just leave it at string name and I'm going to make string name public now supposing I create a plant instance here in my main method so I'll say plant plant I'll create a variable so that I've, um, I've got a reference to it and I'll set that equal to a new instance of plant like this. Now if you've got a um, instance variable or a member variable that's called pub that's declared public you can access it from anywhere so um, within plant let's say for example in the constructor so public plant like this um, of course I could access it here I could say name um, equals, um, let's say, um, let's say I'm a plant. I'm a plant, and um, that's a stupid name for a plant. Uh, how about Freddy? Okay. So, um, if you want to access instance variables within the class, you don't need to prefix them with anything. But some people like to prefix them with um, this, and um, that just mean that's kind of superfluous here. But the point is that um, you can access name within the class, of course, but you can access it from anywhere else too. So I can say plant dot, uh, well, let's just say sysal here, sysal plant dot name. Um, so absolutely anywhere where I've got a reference to a plant object, I can access name. And this is um, bad practice, usually. So bad practice because um, you shouldn't usually um, declare instance variables public like this. The idea is you usually want to encapsulate them, hide them away from the world and make people access them through methods so you can control what's happening with them. If you do want to have a public instance variable, most often you're going to make it constant. and um, if it's constant, usually you'll also make it static so that you access it through the class. So I'll say public static, uh, I don't know, like ID for example, or um, yeah, ID is as, as good as anything, public static in um, ID. So I'm, I'm putting this in uppercase uh, to signify that it's going to be constant. And I'm going to say final, which will uh, mean that it can't be changed, it's constant. And I'm going to initialize it to just some number like eight, and um, then you would you could say here you could access that again from anywhere, but I can't change it from anywhere because it's final. And I'll say plant.id. So if I run that, it's just going to output the the name and the ID there, and this is um, acceptable practice. Um, there's nothing wrong with declaring um, public constants like this um, as long as it's final um, okay meaning constant so that's that's public um, it's pretty simple meaning you can access the variables anywhere and um, and by the way this here just means the same as plant here it's just that if you want, want to access um, a objects member variables from within um, the actual class, then you use this dot to get a reference to it, whereas externally you'd have some named reference like this, but it's the same thing basically. Anyway, that's not important. So um, 
the next simplest one is probably private. Um, so to illustrate private, I'm going to create a subclass of plant. So I'm going to go here and say new uh, class. And let's call this um, oak, because an oak is a plant. And I'm going to say oak extends plant. And let's just give that a constructor as well. So um, public oak. Um, like this. Um, I'm pressing the wrong key on my keyboard. Okay, there we go. Now, um, supposing in plant I declare something private. So let's leave, let, leave these together up here. And I'll go down here. And usually when you have an instance member variable um, or um, a class variable, a static variable, some kind of variable up here basically, usually you want to declare it private. You want to stop people accessing it um, from outside the class. If I say private uh, string um, type, let's say, and um, so now string is private, and private means um, it's the opposite to public, really. Public means you can access it anywhere. Private means you can only access it from within this class. So I could happily say type equals um, plant here. So I can use type here. Or if I want, I can say this dot type. makes no difference. Um, but um, even though oak is a child class, I, I cannot say um, here type equals um, tree. So that's giving me an error. And it's saying the field plant dot type is not visible because it's private. So let's say um, won't won't work type type is private. So um, I can only access type literally within these brackets here because that's that's the scope of the class. I can't access it anywhere else. I can't access it here either. So system dot out. Let's say sys out um, plant plant dot type. That's not going to work either. So again, I'll say won't work. Type type is private. So private means only within the class, and only within the class means within these brackets after your class dec declaration. Now, often you want to have a variable which can't be accessed from the outside, so it's not public, and it's you, you can't um, it's protected from being accessed. Uh, here, for example, in a completely different class. This is the app class. But you want it to be access, you want it to be accessible in child classes, and that's what protected is for. So um, let's have something here, um, let's say uh, protected, um, let's say protected string size, and um, I'll set size equal to uh, this dot. Actually, let's, let's put this down a bit further. So down here, let's say this dot size uh, equals large. And you'd, you'd normally want to like, um, actually I'll set it equal to medium. Usually you'd want to use uh, enumerated type for this kind of thing, but I'm just trying to illustrate the public, private and protected stuff here. So I, I won't worry about that. So um, if you've got a protected variable, you can access it within the class. That's fine. Um, so um, um, actually, you can access. Um, it doesn't matter what access level modifier you put here. You can always access them within the class. Um, that's always possible. But if I go to Oak now and I want to say like um, this dot size equals large oak trees are pretty big, then um, this, yeah, this is going to work now because size is protected. And protected means that um, you can access it within the class, within any subclass, and also within any package. Uh, sorry, also within the same package. So um, this works um, because um, size is protected and oak is a subclass 
of plant. Um, but um, so protected lets you access the variable within the class, uh, so within these brackets and within any subclass, and also within the same package anywhere. So let's create a new um, let's create a new class here, and let's call it uh, field like this, and let's um, give um, let's give field a um, an oak. Um, actually, let's give it a plant. So I'll say plant plant and uh, equals new plant. I'm going to make this plant variable private. Um, so when you do new plant, you can do it happily up here, or you could do new plant in a constructor as well. And let's let's give it a constructor while we're at it. So um, here. Now um, we're in the default package, so um, here I can say uh, plant. Um, let's see, plant dot size, and actually I could just do a sysout on that. So sysout plant dot size, and this works as well. So if I save that, um, this works. Um, size is protected. And field is in the same package as plant, so um, that's fine. And let's let's just kind of emphasise this a bit by saying everything's in the default package at the moment. So I, I could access plant .size within main as well because my my app here, the class that main is in, is also within def the default package. Let's just create a new package here. So um, let's call this world. Should be lowercase actually. I'll call that world. And let's just drag these plants into world like this, and just let Eclipse refactor it. So this kind of emphasises that um, plant is in the world package, field is in the world package. Um, so for that reason, I can access the protected variable plant dot size. But if we go to app, which is now in a different package. And I try to say sysout plant dot size, then it won't work. Um, size is protected. Size is protected, and um, app is not in the same package as plant, so it won't work. Um, won't work. Um, so there's, there's that's public, private, and protected. So private just within the same class, public absolutely anywhere, protected within the same class or within the same package. And there's one more possibility, and that's that you could have no access level modifier, no access specifier. So I could say here um, string. Uh, let's say, let's say int height, and um, so I haven't given this a public, private, or protected. And if you do that, this is now a package level um, visibility. So I can access height, of course, in plan. You can always access stuff within the same class. You can always access. The instance variables from within the same class. Let's just say eight there, um, and um, I can access that uh, within, let's say, oak. I can say this dot height uh, equals um, ten or something. So um, no uh, access specifier. So it works because um, oak and plant in the same package. But um, you see, it is possible um, to have a child class which is not in the same package. And by the way, let me just show you that um, because the, the app class here is not in the same, um, it's not in the same package as plant. I can't do um, sysout plant dot height. So um, this won't work, won't 
work because app and plant in different packages and height has, has package level package level visibility but there's just one more possibility here um, which is that I could create a new child class here let's say new class and let's call this um, grass and I'm going to say grass extends plant and um, I'm going to just add the import there control shift O to import world.plant and let's give this a constructor so public grass and um, now supposing I try to do uh, sys out um, sys out this dot uh, height it's not going to work because uh, if I look at plant height has no access specifier that means it's visible only in the same package and even though grass is a subclass of plant we still can't access this here so this won't work uh, won't work um, grass not in same package as plant even though even though it's uh, a subclass so um, that's a lot and um, let's comment that out so it actually runs and uh, that's all I want to say for this tutorial um, I'm just going to summarize that again now but if your brain is already uh, bursting at the seams or you're just bored then this is a good place to stop watching but um, let's just summarize these different possibilities here so um, if I put um, this here and I say let's say private only within same class and public from anywhere and protected means same class uh, and same sorry um, uh, child class sorry subclass is what I should say subclass um, and same package and no modifier means um, same package only and of course you can access you can always access things from within the same class so I could say um, same here same class protected same class subclass same package and of course um, same package implies that you can access it from within the same class um, so I think that's it and people sometimes get confused between um, public private and protected and the modifiers on the classes themselves uh, so um, if you can only when you create a class in a file like this let's look at plant um, if you declare it public that means it's it's visible from outside that file and um, it's got to have the same name you can only have one public class in a file it's got to have the same name as the file um, you can't declare classes private so I can't say private class uh, something here something like this um, because this public private and protected stuff does not apply to um, classes it only applies to these instance variables um, but you can miss off the access specifier altogether um, and then this is just visible within this file and you can have as many classes as you want in one file but as I say only one public class because it has to match the file name so that's it for public private and protected um, I'm going to put all this source code on caveofprogramming.com and um, Join me again for the next tutorial and until then, happy coding.